Uh, Keith, we travelled to Aberdeen on Wednesday. I, I guess it is just a must-win game. There's no other way to, to describe it. Absolutely. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're happy of, to, to, to even be in this position, to still be in there in the fight. Um, but we know what it's going to take. It's going to take certainly a win tomorrow night. Um, you know, that's all we can look after. We you know, can't look after what happens at Easter Road. But, you know, it gives us a, a clear mindset of what we need. And, uh, you know, we got there in good fettle after Saturday. But, you know, knowing what's the challenge ahead of us. It's seven wins from the last ten. So we've shown we've got the form that we can go there and get a win. Yeah, I think so. I think you know. I think we've shown recently, you know, a consistency in performance that you know allows us to go up there in a good frame of mind. You know, we know, as I said, the challenge that awaits Aberdeen, who have you know consistently been been uh, you know second, third, whatever in these last uh, previous seasons. So you know, we know what we're up against, but you know, certainly we're going into a good mindset and, and uh, you know a challenge that we feel capable of overcoming. It's a difficult place to go, isn't it? I mean, it's a sort of game that's always been difficult to call, whether it's here or at Petardre. Yeah, it has been. Um, you know, I think in recent times, there's, you know, the away team has come out and talked in, in, in a number of occasions. But uh, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough game. Aberdeen have got a, you know a big squad, a, a squad full of quality, um, and especially on their, their, their home pitch, they'll be, a, they'll be a big challenge, as we said. But. Uh, you know, it goes back. We, we we feel we can give anybody a game on on our day in this division, and um, you know we know we need to be at our best. But uh, you know, hopefully, we'll be tomorrow. Because of what's at stake, it's come up a few times this week. Uh, 2014 and getting second place. Is a is there a case of trying to evoke the spirit of what happened then, and maybe try to push it on some of the boys that weren't here, show what's what's potentially can happen. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I don't know. I might bring my video out of the house and put it on the bus on the way up uh, that I watch every night. Um, but no, listen, that was you know it was a great occasion for him that was there and the fans that travelled up. Um, but this is a different circumstance, different group of boys. Uh, you know, I certainly take the same result. Um, but um, you know, again, like it was that uh, uh, that season. Uh, you know, it's it's equally as big a challenge. You know, hopefully we can come out on top again. Is it easier to prepare for a game like this, considering the format we're in, and considering we know it's a must-win fixture? I mean, does it make it any simpler? Is that a cliche? Is that kind of misnomer? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think it gives you, certainly gives you a clear vision, even within the game itself. That. You know, we know we need to win the game. You know, there are the occasions where maybe a, a, a point is not the worst result at times throughout a season. Um, so it does. It's a clear mindset, clear message for us in the build up to it. We know what we need to do, um, and you know, hopefully that can help us on the day or on the night. Thanks, Keith. Cheers.